Good job, Devin. We'll see you again in six months, okay? Beautiful. Hi, I'm Dr. Lorelai Claiborne, a dentist and an expert in children's dental health. Here in Detroit, I see a lot of tooth decay in children, but by working together, we can prevent tooth decay. As a parent or caregiver, you have the most important role in stopping tooth decay in children. You can help your child be free of tooth decay. During the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna share with you information on prevention and dental health so your child stays cavity free. Many people ask me about caring for baby teeth and why they are important. On average, babies get their first tooth around the age of six months old and usually have all 20 baby teeth between the ages of two or three years. Most children lose their first tooth around six years old and by the age of 14, adult teeth have replaced all the baby teeth. Baby teeth are very important and precious. They help children eat, chew, and talk. Baby teeth keep spaces for adult teeth and let them grow in straight. You can keep your child's teeth healthy. All teeth, even baby teeth, have a hard outer layer called enamel. This is the part you can see. The enamel looks shiny and white when healthy, but turns brown when there is a cavity. The enamel protects the dentin. The dentin is a flexible, bony material under the enamel. Inside the dentin is the tooth's nerve and blood supply, which helps keep the tooth healthy. Together, enamel and dentin protect the nerve. Like all nerves in your body, the nerve of a tooth causes pain when something is wrong, which we call a toothache. Even when they look clean, your child's teeth are covered with many layers of good and bad bacteria. Bad bacteria causes tooth decay and bad breath. Many of the bacteria in a child's mouth come from sharing things like spoons, forks, drinking straws, or glasses that may have been used by others. A child can also get bacteria when food is pre-chewed and then given to them. When bacteria mixes with bits of food and saliva, they attach to teeth and form a sticky whitish film. In this film, there are good and bad bacteria. When teeth are not clean, especially after eating sugary or starchy food or drinks, the bad bacteria grows faster and outnumbers the good bacteria, forming acids that cause tooth decay. It is essential to brush at least twice a day, once in the morning, and most importantly, before bedtime to remove the bad bacteria. Why is brushing before bedtime so important? While you sleep, your mouth produces much less saliva, so the bacteria and acid don't get washed away as quickly. Brushing before bedtime helps to remove as much bad bacteria as possible. This way, there's less tooth decaying acid sitting on the teeth during the night. Acids from bad bacteria weaken enamel and cause spots called precavities. Precavities can become cavities. By the age of three, one in three African-American children in Detroit has precavities. Luckily, we can see precavities. Look for white lines, spots, patches, or stained areas on your child's teeth or around the gum line. Check the front and back teeth. For babies, look for precavities as soon as teeth grow in. Check for precavities at least once a month, perhaps the first Saturday of the month. Make it easy to remember and make it a date to keep. What many people don't know is that precavities can be stopped. If you find any precavities, it's very important to take your child to a dentist so that the precavity doesn't become a cavity. You can also keep precavities from becoming cavities by brushing with fluoride toothpaste and avoiding sugary foods and drinks. Fluoride makes the tooth enamel stronger. It can heal the precavities and stop them from becoming cavities. Detroit's tap water contains fluoride, but bottled water may not. I recommend that you give your child Detroit's tap water. Precavities can be healed, but cavities need to be filled by a dentist. 
Some of my patients believe that cavities in baby teeth don't matter since baby teeth fall out anyway. That's not true. Baby teeth are very important. Preventing and treating cavities in baby teeth give children a head start on a cavity-free adult life. Baby teeth are important in helping children learn to speak. Children with toothache or teeth that need to be pulled have a harder time pronouncing words. Children may miss school or have problems concentrating in school if they have a toothache. And children with healthy, cavity-free baby teeth tend to smile more and feel more confident. Some people believe that most children will get cavities anyway. Well, I have good news. Cavities can be prevented. You can keep your child cavity free. Our teeth are a precious gift made to last a lifetime, so we need to keep them healthy. You can keep your child's teeth healthy with good brushing and eating habits. Tooth brushing is important, especially at bedtime. I will show you how to keep your child's mouth clean and brush your child's teeth at different ages. My dental hygienist, Jennifer, will show you how to clean and keep healthy the teeth of infants and children. When your child's first tooth appears, you can use a toothbrush with water to clean the baby teeth as soon as they erupt. First, have your child lie down with his or her head on your lap. Turn your head to face the child. Open the child's mouth with your thumb and index fingers and place the brush on the baby's tooth where it meets the gums. Gently brush back and forth five to six times. At this age, you may start using toothpaste with fluoride. Just make sure to use only a touch of toothpaste on the brush. Buy only toothpaste or gel that has the American Dental Association seal of acceptance on it. After brushing the tooth, wipe the excess toothpaste with a clean cloth. At this age, many teeth will start to appear. Brush all of your child's teeth as soon as they are visible. It's important to brush all two surfaces thoroughly. There are three surfaces to brush. The tooth surface that faces the cheek, the surface towards the tongue, and the surface they use to chew food. Brush the teeth making sure to brush gently towards and around the gum line. Brush back and forth overlapping each stroke. It's okay if your child wants to play with the toothbrush and water. This may help make brushing fun. Toddlers need you to brush for them. While sitting, have the child face you. Rest the child's head in the arm you are not brushing with and tilt it back in order to see the teeth. Continue to brush teeth as they grow in. Tilt the bristles toward the gum line and gently brush back and forth. When your child opens as wide as possible, it's actually hard to brush the back teeth. So have your child close their mouth a little. This relaxes the cheek and makes it easier to brush the surface of the back teeth next to the cheek. Sometimes children like to pretend they are brushing their toy's teeth. Give your child an extra toothbrush and allow them to brush their toy's teeth after they have brushed their own. This helps your child have good brushing habits and may even help if your child becomes fussy. I know that brushing children's teeth may sometimes be hard, especially at the end of the day when you are tired. You are not alone. Sometimes it's difficult to get children to cooperate, but if you brush your child's teeth at this early age, they will develop healthy brushing habits that will help them to have healthy mouths throughout their lives. Between the ages of three and five, children can brush their own teeth, but they may need your supervision while they are brushing. Help by reminding them to brush, checking their teeth, and rebrushing any missed areas, especially at night. As children get older, they may be able to rebrush missed areas with your help. When checking and rebrushing their teeth, have them lie down and place their head in your lap. This way, you can see directly into their mouths and do a better job. By age six or seven, children can brush their own teeth, but it is still very important for you to check their brushing several times a week. At this age, children have the coordination to brush in a circular motion. Jennifer is checking how well Michael brushed his teeth. You can do the same thing at home by having your child lie down on a sofa or with their head in your lap. 
You can also have the child sit or stand in front of you facing away and tilting their head back so you can see their teeth. Remember to praise your children for brushing and point out areas they have brushed well. Also, point out areas they have missed and show them how to clean those areas. Continue this process until your children learn to properly clean the tricky areas. Other tips to remember for successful brushing are, clean teeth are shiny and don't have a fuzzy coating. Use fluoride toothpaste with the American Dental Association seal of approval. Children should not swallow toothpaste and a child-sized brush makes cleaning easier. Only use toothbrushes labeled soft and don't share toothbrushes. Spin brush or electric toothbrushes work well and make brushing fun. Praise your child for the areas they have cleaned well. Remember to be patient. Learning new skills and habits may be frustrating for your child. Let your child know that he or she is doing a great job. You can do this in different ways. Give a hug. Give praise for being a good helper or for doing a good job. Read a story or play games with them. Watch cartoons or videos with them. Tell your child that your teeth sparkle and look pretty. You are the most important role model in your child's life. Your child is more likely to brush at bedtime if you do. Brush your teeth together every night and check each other's teeth after brushing. You can prevent cavities. Help your child with brushing every day. Brushing alone will not prevent tooth decay. It is important to consider what your child is eating and drinking. Many things people think are okay are actually bad for your teeth, including sugary drinks like sugar-sweetened fruit juice, pops, and sports drinks. Some examples include candies, cookies, cakes, and chewy fruit treats, crackers, and cereals. Sugar is added to almost all processed food and drinks because it makes them tastier. Read the package label and you will see sugar is listed. It is sometimes called by other names like corn syrup or fructose. Don't be fooled, it's all sugar and too much of it can be bad for your teeth and your health. Sugar is listed in grams right on food and drink labels. Most Americans consume about 82 grams of sugar per day. Five grams of sugar is about one teaspoon, so that's 16 or 17 teaspoons of sugar per day. That's a lot. You should only have 50 grams of sugar a day or about 10 teaspoons from everything you eat and drink. One can of pop has 45 to 60 grams of sugar. That's a whole day's worth of sugar. Most of the sugar a child gets in a day comes from sweet drinks like pop. Children older than two years can have juice or pop, but no more than one can or serving a couple of times a week. Younger children should have less sugar. This is very bad for their teeth. When your child is thirsty, give them milk, water, or unsweetened juice. Putting children to bed with bottles filled with sugary liquids can lead to cavities. When a baby or toddler drinks sugary liquids during a nap at night or for a long time during the day, the liquid coats the teeth. The bad bacteria have a long time to turn sugars into acids that attack the tooth enamel and cause cavities. If you feel you must put your child to bed with a bottle, fill it with tap water only. Children will get used to the taste and the water is better for them and their teeth. Many parents ask me how they can reduce sugar in their children's diet. Sugar causes cavities, but it's okay if your child has a healthy diet and brushes on a regular basis. I recommend the following tips to reduce the sugar in your child's diet. Give your children foods that are lower in sugar, like fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, dried fruits, yogurt, or cheese. Keeping fresh fruits and veggies washed and cut up in the refrigerator makes this easier. Canned fruits that don't have sugars added are also a good choice. These may be labeled light or reduced sugar or in their own juice. Instead of sweetened drinks and pop, give children water or water mixed with unsweetened juice. Children should drink water or milk during the day. 
1% or 2% milk is best for children over two. It is also important to teach your children to make healthier choices when away from home. Ask your children about their food choices and praise them for good choices. Be positive and be a good role model and encourage your family and friends to offer children healthy food choices. If your child is going to eat or drink a treat high in sugar, have it at the end of the meal. It's very important to make sure your child's teeth are brushed after meals, and especially after sugary snacks or drinks. Many people think there is nothing they can do to stop their children from getting cavities. Many children don't develop cavities and none have to. I'm gonna share with you information on prevention and dental health so your child stays cavity free. Check for pre-cavities at least once a month. You can make sure your child's teeth are cleaned at least twice a day with fluoride toothpaste beginning at age one. Remember, it's especially important before bedtime and after eating sugary foods and drinks. Brush newly erupting teeth to keep them healthy. Check whether the areas where bacteria hide are cleaned after toothbrushing. You can limit the amount of sugar your child eats and drinks. If your child eats high sugar foods or snacks more than twice a day, limit this to no more than two times a day. Give fruit, veggies, and water instead. Vegetables and fruits are better for teeth and have more vitamins and minerals and fiber that growing children need. Children younger than two should not drink pop. Only use fruit juice with no added sugar. If you put your child to bed with a bottle, fill it with tap water only. For children two years and older, limit the amount of sugar they eat or drink. They should have no more than one can of pop or juice a couple of times a week. Drink Detroit tap water and milk during the day. And remember to visit your dentist for regular checkups. Hi, Michael. How are you today? Good. Good. It only takes a few minutes a day to prevent tooth decay. You can help keep your child cavity free by following these recommendations. Cavities don't have to happen. You can help. Thank you for your attention and participation.